Sagar from Breaking Points was on Andrew Schultz's podcast, Flagrant, and he exposed the media for what they really are, what they really do, and talked about why he got out. Super interesting. Let's talk about that. I look to you guys because news is still in that category. Like I was in, it's funny because I was in a similar situation. Like I was White House correspondent. Mm -hmm. I was in the press briefing room. I had two options. I was like, I could stay. Classic job. I was a made man, like going on Fox News, doing my hits. I was like in the system, invited Ugh. to all the parties, blah, blah. But I was like, I fucking hate this. Yeah. And I grew up with Rogan. And Oh, explicit warning, by the way. This, this that, that definitely means swearing on here. But very interesting is that I was a made man. Made man is like the dude that's just set. You're tenured, essentially. And yeah. that was what I took inspiration. Like, and then I met Crystal and it actually clicked. And I was like, hey, like we could do something different. Dude, how many people told me not to take the job? Hmm. How many people told me not to start the show? Yeah. Said, you're a fucking idiot. What are you doing? Yeah. You're not gonna go on Fox anymore? Yeah. You're gonna give up all this? Yeah. Like, how can, now they're like, hey, can I come on the show? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Uh, your pod, what's the podcast ranked yep. at? Can I come, I just wrote a book. Uh, yep. uh, can my assistant, can I'm like, Yo. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. It's not like that anymore. Yeah. It's just like you said, it yeah. was uh, cable by definition. He made fun of him. He said, oh, my assistant. So he's referencing all the people that were telling him, don't start your podcast. Don't do all this. You're a made man. Stay on Fox, yada, yada, yada. When he went and started his podcast, Breaking Points, and him and Crystal blew this thing up and it's super big. All those same people are coming around and being like, hey, I have a book coming out. Can I promote? And that's a very common thing. Like even with regular media, if you're seeing people pop up and give their two cents, it's often because they have a book coming out or they have something going on. If you're on CNN, you're not on MSNBC. Yep. If you're on MSNBC, you're not. But with us, we're like, oh, you're on a rive rival, whatever, come on, it let's is the promote ethos it. Yeah. Let's the get show. it going. Yeah. And then more people will watch us. And I always say, I say, subscribe to their Substack. People are like, why are you doing that? Because you want to promote your own thing. I'm like, no, dude. Put them I, on. People want us to promote better people. Bro. In a lot of ways, news is like the most lagging part. Like, you know, the comedy, internet came for comedy when? Like 15 years ago? Mm. Like it's just now happening in news. Yeah. Like the Joe Rogan podcast came out in 2009. Yeah. yeah. News is just now starting. Mm. It's one of those yeah. where like, we're so far behind the times, but I do think it's a good thing because they are so propped up and like, hey man, it's it's like you said, they're, all the co-hosts. doing what you guys are doing that are like young and hungry and you would like to promote them? So he's also pointing out, dude, comedy came to the internet and started podcasting and the and news is so far behind they're still tonight on 11 we're going to be talking about blah, 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 blah. and it's just an outdated system it's dramatically outdated and so him and uh, crystal are creating a completely new lane well, oh sure when i would go on fox yeah one time they were like hey we're going to talk about american nationalism you have three minutes and there's three people on the panel uh, like, you get your one uh, what am i supposed point? to say yeah, like you can't yeah. do anything new and also you talk like a fake person. you're like yeah that's right and, and, and one of the reasons why is because of the, <laughs> this one particular statistic and the, right. i'll see you later right? yeah what, what am i doing here seeing him relaxed in this setting is also really funny and i hated that but everybody is so comfortable with that system that they they like it right because that's where the paychecks come from yeah. they're so used to talking Yikes. shit going to the same restaurants going to the same parties and i was like hey this is all bullshit like the golden they, handcuffs man you know it's funny i I remember in the press briefing room, one of the funniest things is, is that every TV correspondent asks yeah. the same question. You know why? Because they all need videotape of them on their own network asking that question. So during the Trump, okay, so there's CNN, Fox, MSNBC, ABC, all that. Every single one of them asks the same version of the same question in the press briefing room at the conference. Because, even though it's already been answered. Even though it's already been answered. You know why? Because they need video of them on their so network. So what does the president do when he gets asked the same question again? I mean, he, just, he loves it because he gets to answer. Also, they it's, get yeah, pre-picked by the, uh, yeah, the same eat, question. Yeah. He's like, I've been 30 minutes with the press. What are you talking about? I'm free and transparent and open. So he'll well, say like, the exact same thing dude, it's over the and over same again. same shit. Uh, is it verbatim with the, or is it his answer? It's a slight tweak. Yeah. But it's like... It's actually very similar to YouTube in a way. If you think about it, just walk with me here. Your favorite YouTubers that are kind of in the same space will sometimes react to the same clip. And it's not because, you know, it's exclusive. It's just, oh, this is a very interesting clip and we'll all react to it at the same time. The news sites have to, they can't not talk about the big thing, right? They can't not talk about it, but now, in order to have their logo and their brand uh, 
associated with asking the president that question. They need to find the clip. They, they need to get the clip of them saying it. And it's just it's just a cakewalk for the president at that point because he's not answering tons and tons of questions. And it's crazy. He's answering the same question in a variety of different ways to a bunch of different people. That's funny. So it, it's a business behind the closed doors. Like no one really cares about the president. They just care that he is the president and he's answering this question. Come on, man, it's like during the like when Sarah Sanders, that was the time that I was there. She she would be like, "All right, uh first question, Mueller. Second question, Mueller. Third question, Mueller." Mm -hmm. And it's because Jim Acosta has to be on CNN sparring with Sarah Sanders. And then Peter Alexander at NBC, he needs to be on NBC sparring uh, with Sarah Sanders. And then ABC needs to spar. So it's so the it's same like shit over nonsense. and over. And yeah. I was like, "Hey, what about the other stuff?" that people care about? No. Yeah. What's going on with Trump, like the government? Are we going to war? I remember everybody in the press ridiculed me for saying, do you think Kim Jong-un is serious about peace talks? So yeah. what was the most disappointing thing, peeking behind the curtain? That, yeah, that, that was which was, I mean, look, man, I always loved politics. I was the political kid, you know, in school, like Iraq war is why I got into it. And I get to the press corps, top of the, the most cutthroat of the cutthroat motherfuckers make it into the press briefing room. And I was like, uh, this is it though? Yeah. I was like, this is it though. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. He's like, oh, oh, this is what I wanted to do my whole life. Kind of dropped a gem there. He's like, I don't care about following the pack. I'm going to do the thing that I think is cutting edge and it's going to work. And it's, it's actually, that's actually, that is actually interesting. But he's also going to drop a gem right here for careers in general. Which is really crazy. And then after this, well, I'm going to go and, and show. A lot, a lot of people probably haven't seen their subscription page. And it's it's pretty interesting. I want to show you guys that. This, the, this they stopped being cutthroat. I worked get in this there. hard to yeah. get here. Mm. I was like, and that, uh oh. And wait, so, you know, one of the best pieces of advice I got was if you want to be like the way that you know you're in a good career is look at the guy who's 10 years ahead of you and I'm looking at these 65 year old motherfuckers not doing the same shit yeah. Where, and I was like oh my god I was like I gotta get out of here okay. I was like I, I'm in a prison yeah. like, like, yeah. alright guys we're gonna take a break for he just dropped a fat gem and realized I have to get out of here now he did he uh, and Crystal started Breaking Points. Now, if you're not familiar with Breaking Points, they're an independent uh, news journalism, aka YouTubers, right? What are we talking about here? News news journalism? Okay. I mean, yeah. Their their method is is YouTube. Okay. And they started this channel that is almost at a million subscribers. Put out multiple clips every single day that range from anywhere between depending depending on the topic. 30 to 150,000 views. I can promise you they're caking out on this. And I know that this isn't even the cream of the crop when it comes to uh, how much money they're making. Let's let's check out their page. So if you go here, hello, new JRE listeners. Enjoy a special yearly discount to breaking points. Now, it's interesting about this. You're like, wait, why? Why is this a hello JRE listeners? Well, they didn't create a specific link for the people that just came from the Joe Rogan podcast. Sagar was just on the Joe Rogan podcast, or Crystal, one of them. Crystal or Sagar were on the Joe Rogan podcast, and they know that the influx of people at that time is so high, it's not like at the end of the podcast he's saying, oh, go to the link down below, and if you would special Joe Rogan, they just know a majority of people are coming from the podcast. So they custom made the page to talk to the people that came from the podcast. That's super smart. And so then let's see, let's see their prices. They have $10 a month, $100 yearly, or $1,500 lifetime member. And it's like a, a founding member uh, uh, plan. Where the reviews are is hilarious to me. It says what people are saying. You know, it has Stephen S, we have Sarah, and these are, you know, just generic people that actually said something. And then uh, a guy named Joe Rogan, let me tell you how happy I am that you two are independent. You two together and your show is one of the most important things out there. I just love that they have Joe Rogan next to like Stephen S and Sarah, like ambiguous people that have left a comment. And then it's like a guy, Joe Rogan, <laughs> what people are saying. You can make a whole section just saying what Joe Rogan is saying. And people would be like, I'm in, I'm buying, I'm buying. So I thought that was pretty funny, but good for them, man. They, I think 
they shared some super, he shared some super valuable lessons. Look at 10 years ahead of you. Is, is this the thing you really want to be in? I think a lot of people, especially people that go to college will get so indoctrinated in this idea that like, I love, I made this decision when I was 18. Now I have to do this, this job. I took this degree and now I have to do this job. I love it here. I really do. I, I love this job. I never could see myself doing anything different. It's like, wake up, wake up. It's like the sunken place, you know, in uh, that one Jordan Peele movie. It's just people just get sucked in and there's just next thing you know, they're wearing a flat brim fedora hat with a tear dripping down their eye and saying, get out. Oh, that was the name of the movie. Get out. Came to me all of a sudden, right? <laughs> don't, don't be in the sunken place. Don't be wearing, don't be wearing a fedora, a sun hat with a glaze over your eyes, a tear dripping down your face saying, get out because you hate your job so much. Just understand, like, you know, be able to evaluate. You got the degree. I get it. You work so hard. I get it. You thought it would be everything it is. And it's not just leave, just leave. All right, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, uh, comment down below. I want to know what you think and uh, consider subscribing so you don't miss a thing.